on Abdallah um, that of course I handed over to the Borno State uh, Governor. Now, um, handover of IDPs. On the 5th of January at about 11.30 hours, a total of 119 Nigerian, Nigerians uh, were handed over to us as IDPs um, by, at Banki by the Cameroonian Forces. The IDPs comprised 20 male adults, 25 female adults, and 74 children. They were screened and moved to the IDP camp. Now, also within the period, um, on the 9th precisely, um, at about 12.50 hours, one allied in Jida, a Boko Haram terrorist member, surrendered to our troops um, at Limankara. He brought his AK-47 rifle loaded with nine rounds of 7.62 millimeter ammunition, and, um, which was recovered from him. Currently, he is giving us useful information, and we have got quite a lot from him as to how he got into their camp since uh, the year 2014. His, um, his village is Limankara, and all the places where they've taken him to, the kind of training they've given him, and where what, of course, has been the impact of our operation in Sambisa, what made them to run away and all that. So he gave us quite a lot um, to know that um, uh, they are in disarray. And now, within the period that we have recorded uh, incidences of, um, incidents of, um, of person born improvised explosive devices, explosion. Uh, on the on the eight, and I think possibly these are things that are already known to us. So let me not um, let me not bore us. Perhaps we'll look at the screen and then um, we'll go through them. Um, the ones, most, many of them are around Medigri and uh, elsewhere. So perhaps run through the screen just for want of time. Um, this was the case of uh, the two uh, around Muna uh, Park that uh, carried. Uh, uh, AK-7 rifles, which of course uh, one of them shot at uh, a civilian JTF and were able to uh, recover the rifles after killing the second one. And of course you also know that uh, two others went to some villages, some settlements you know, behind the um, University of Medjugorje where they knocked on doors and then a little child, a little girl came out and then of course the first one you know, detonated and then the second one uh, went about 200 meters away the home of one other uh, man, and the man, as, as he knocked, the man came out to open the door, and, and that's how he also so killed from the explosions. That, that um, we have also covered, um, and, you know, within the week, which many of you, of course, have also reported. Now, um, an attack. You recall that on the 7th of January at about uh, 1740 hours, some Boko Haram terrorist element attacked our troops' location through the range area during stand two. The troops, of course, repaired the attack, but sadly, uh, we lost an officer and three soldiers. Uh, of course, because it was already into the night, by first light the following day, uh, troops went on pursuit of the attackers by trailing their tracks. Um, the, the tracks, of course, led to Gogori up to uh, Bulasari village, where own troops discovered a camp which, of course, we believe to have been their assembly area from where they came to um, launch that attack on the, on the, on the troops. And um, apart from uh, one dead that we, we discovered his dead body, um, there was a camel bag, you know, what you find. That actually is, is, is meant for carrying water um, for you to, you know, as you move, for you to sit. So a lot of blood stains, and including um, other jackets that, that were soaked in pool of blood that uh, the troops discovered. And we also found a, a pair of uh, forceps, disposable hand gloves, and cutting wood stained with blood, which of course gave us um, a, a hint that the Boko Haram not only did they suffer uh, a casualty in terms of uh, those wounded, many of them also died, even though they carried their bodies as, as they moved. And so before the troops got to that camp, of course, they, I'm sure they were aware that we were going to come after them. They had left. But the operation continues as I speak to you. Um, the troops of 27 Brigade and that general Aziz to ensure that um, the up to Talala, Ajigin Talala, Aziz everywhere is routed of uh, the remnants of the Boko Haram terrorists. We equally recovered um, some dim guns from the location as well as Motorola handheld radios, which they used. Um, let me possibly at this stage also indicate that last night we had uh, an attack 
Um, you know, we also have troops in Malti. Uh, there's Old Malti and New Malti. So we have a forward operating base in Old Malti. I also have a deployment in Malti, in New Malti. Uh, the troops last night, about 9.05 uh, I mean, in the night, um, were, were attacked by those uh, Boko Haram terrorists that want to link up to um, their colleagues around the Lake Chad. And then in the process, we lost two soldiers and four were wounded. And of course, we killed, we killed uh, several of them. I just thought I should mention it. The details in terms of pictures, because it happened just in the night, this, this past night, I have not received them. So that is uh, on the way. Now, recovery of um, uh, Boko Haram terrorist items. Can I have that? Um, you know, following our operations, you know, part of what we are doing in uh, Sambisa Forest, um, you know, I told you we are doing exploitation. And uh, a lot of uh, things, of course, were uh, recovered. And I would like you to focus your attention here. Thank you. Um, you could see that this loot, the, the way we captured this, this one actually is from, is from um, Chikungudu, from 8 Tasford Deep area. Now, the way, the way these things are, thank you, I'm sure you know that the person is not settled. This person is on the move. Now, this was actually got, all these ones were gotten from, from Sambisa. This, of course, you know what it is. And then we also found out, of course, by my colleagues helped me to interpret that um, this is a, an adulterated hadith because hadiths are not supposed to be written are not supposed to be, um, how do I put, copied. Am I right? But that's precisely what you have here. Now, what you also have here is a set of presses that tells you how to use various uh, um, armaments. So, giving you uh, lesson by lesson. So, that tells you that perhaps they were establishing something close to a school. So, that's what you find in this. And then, there here, you find... Um, the uniform. I'm sure you must have seen uh, Sheka and all those holding, uh, holding whatever guns around him each time he, all those funny uh, videos that he used to. So this is the kind of, uh, you know, uniforms that we also found. Here you find, these are lesson notes, how to make bombs and, um, you know, IEDs. That's what is contained here. And then, of course, these are some receipts, you know, which appear to look like a property of uh, those who, I think, uh, Samisa became too hot for them, so uh, they were running, uh, they couldn't go with this again, it became too heavy for them. So just, just for you to um, have an idea as to some of the recoveries we made. Um, of course, these are um, outside of... Um, uh, you know, other logistics items and weapons that uh, we have um, gotten from, from uh, our exploits in the entire area. Now, maybe, you know, I told you that I was going to display, where is, um, bring him, bring him. I have, um, maybe, sorry, just, um,